In today's video, we're diving into Figma to create an app interaction for this tab bar menu. It's surprisingly easy to prototype this, and if you follow along with today's tutorial, you'll be able to throw this into any app design and have an animated tab bar. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get started. All right, so for my icons in this video, I'm using Material Symbols. They have a plugin for this that you can run, and they have two versions. They have the outline and the filled version. So I just grabbed some outline shapes and some filled ones here. And then I just grabbed the status bar and home indicator from iOS 16. Just search that on the community tab. There's a ton of files you can grab this from. And that's pretty much everything you need to get started. I've set all these as master components so that I can easily just drag them into my design. So F on the keyboard to get started with a frame. I'm gonna grab the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm gonna drag in my status bar and home indicator. Position those to the top and bottom. Then in my layers, I'm actually going to lock both of those. Then I'm gonna drag out an instance for each one of my icons. I'm just gonna click and drag to grab those. With these selected, I'm gonna set them to a black color. Color code on that is 232323. We'll just throw that into our frame. With those icons selected, I'm gonna hit Shift A to turn on a auto layout. I'm gonna hit the center alignment and then hit X on my keyboard, and that will change that to space in between. You'll see this changes to auto. Let's give this some padding. So I'm gonna put 40 on the left and the right. I'm gonna click this icon so I can adjust the top and bottom value separately. 24 for the top and 48 for the bottom. So now if I drag out each side to touch the edge of the frame, I'm gonna align that centered and send it to the bottom. Then I'm gonna grab my frame and I'm gonna change the fill to a gray color. The color code on that is DC, DC, DC. Then I'm gonna select our frame. I'm gonna call this icon frame. And I'm gonna hit command option G and that's going to wrap this in another frame. So we have our icon frame with our icons inside of it, and then we have this other frame now wrapped around that. And we'll call this tab bar menu. And it's on the tab bar menu that I'll set a fill of just pure white. I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard for the rectangle tool, and I'm just gonna drag out a rectangle. And I'm gonna set this to the main black color I'm using, which on this is 232323. In my layers panel, I'm going to grab that rectangle and drag it into the tab bar menu, but not into the auto layout. I'm gonna use the arrow keys on my keyboard to position this on the left of the frame and at the top of our tab bar. I'll just give it a nice width of 108 and a height value of four. I'm gonna set the circle to the active tab, so we'll set that to the filled circle. Okay, so I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard and just add some text here. The font I'm using is Switzer. And I'm gonna set this to black because I want it nice and bold. 56 points and 120% on the line height and just make sure it's center aligned. I'm gonna center align this to my frame and then I'm gonna put it 180 points from the top of that frame. I'm just gonna update my text with some lorem ipsum just to make it look a little bit like real text. Then in the layers panel, I'm gonna double click on the name and I'm just gonna call this text one. Then I'm gonna hit command C, command V to create a duplicate of it. I'm just gonna hide the original and then I'll just update my text. To do the same thing, I'm gonna copy and paste it, hide the original, and now you can see we have text three because Figma is smart, and then I'll update the text. I'm gonna do that one more time, copy and paste it, hide the original, and update the text. So now we can actually turn all these back on. You can see it's a overlaid mess, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna grab the text two, three, and four, and I'm gonna drag them down. I'm just gonna align this visually, so somewhere around there, and then I'm going to set the opacity over here to 0%. So when we click on one of these icons, we're gonna have the new text slide in and change opacity, and this one will fade down and away. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do, just for a stylized look, I'm gonna add some noise to the background. So I'm just gonna generate the noise plugin, put that into my frame. I'm gonna send it to the back with left square bracket key. And I'm just gonna put it right above our tab bar, and then just click and drag to fill the entire frame. Then I'm gonna hit 05 on the keyboard to set it to 5%. Oh, and also I forgot to change my icon color. So I'm just gonna grab those and I'm gonna set them to a gray color. The gray color there is C2, 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 just to kind of gray those out a little bit more and create some contrast between the active state. So there is our frame done. I've just called mine one and I'm gonna duplicate this three times with Command D. So now all we have to do is update them. So the first one, I'll grab the square icon and I'll go here and change it to the square filled, set its color to the black, and then change the original circle icon back to its outlined version. Grab our rectangle and drag it over till it is center aligned with that square. 
And I'll repeat that for all four of the icons. So now we have all of our tabs changed over for each one of our frames. Now let's change the text. So on frame two, I'm gonna grab text two and drag it up, turn its opacity to 100. Make sure it's 180 from the top of the frame. Then I'll just grab text one and drag it down to the others and turn its opacity back down to zero. And then just repeat that for each frame. Prototyping this is pretty easy. So for the first frame, we'll grab the square icon, then just click and drag a noodle over to frame two. And this is gonna be set to on tap. We're gonna swap this to smart animate. And I'm gonna set the easing to custom spring. I'm gonna set it to 700 for the duration. And for the stiffness, I'll set it to about 250. So now that we have that set, we can grab the triangle, drag a noodle to the third frame. And you'll see that Figma remembers all of that, so we don't have to set that again, which is good. And then I'll do the same thing for the hexagon, dragging it to the fourth frame. Then we just set each icon to their corresponding frames for the rest of the icons. So with all those frames selected, you can see the noodles going to pretty much everywhere. So if we hit the play on the flow, and with that, we've completed this app interaction for this tab bar menu. Of course, you can add this to your own designs, simply animate the frame moving up instead of the typography. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Figma tutorial. If you did, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe for more design related videos every single week. And in the meantime, check out these related videos. As always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.